Hi guys and welcome and welcome back. Um, in this section we'll be working on I'm showing you guys on how an HTML page is being represented because every everything has a structure that must be followed. So we'll start by creating a little HTML page. We'll right click, we'll open our project, one we created from our last lecture using Sublime and then we'll right click on the folder um, and save it and name it index.html now the .html there is an extension to tell the browser that you are saving an html document so let's load our html page it should be in our browser HTML computer first page index page so this is our this is our html page is what we just created all right next we want to do is the structure of an html document it has a very basic structure which is written as this let me type first and i'll explain so Right, so this is the basic structure of an HTML page. You have the identification of the page, saying that the doc type is HTML. You have the beginning of the HTML and the end. So everything here, you tell the document that everything here is an HTML tag. Then you have the head and you have the title. The title is um, is what you see up here, for example, index.html. So let me change that to our first page. And you see it changes back to our first page it changes to our first page and then our body this, this is where we write most of our uh, html and many other things so we we'll start with like a little html element called a paragraph so html elements are represented with opening tags and closing tags so this is an open tag and this is a closing tag I call HTML elements and this is called a paragraph so in a paragraph I want to say hey my first page remember Sublime is, um, is a licensed software so if you guys want to purchase that assignment I'm not purchasing it but it never expires so realize now our page says hey my first page and then you have what they call view page search, view page source, where you can see what you wrote. All right. So let's um, deal with another tag called the span tag. I will say um, my first span tag. Now notice what happens. If I'm to put another paragraph here saying that um, my second um, my second name, notice what happens. It goes to a new line. So paragraphs always take you take data to a new line, but spans continue on the same line unless a break is being applied to them. So a break means this so for example if i have another span saying um my second span notice what happens what what happens it goes on the same line if i want to send my second um span to a new line i'll use what they call a brick tag and it's written as such and it takes it to a new line if i want to take it um two lines down i just apply two lines down and that's what we have the next thing we're working on is 
this one I'm working on are uh, a tags link tags are called link tags so you have the, another tag called the link tag so I can I can see um, my school link and then a school link it has a reference I can say www dot um, uni. I can say www dot uni university dot com. And then when I load this, see what happens. You need to remember, guys. You need to always save. Don't forget to save. If you don't save, um, the effect is not going to take place in the browser. So you save and then you refresh. All right now you see it continues still on the same line so eight tags actually don't go to a new line still for you to take this eight tag to a new line you need to use the break tag so i'll do two spaces downwards and that's how we have it so if i hover over it notice what it says down there it's going to go to that link all right so the next thing we want to work on are heading tags and these tags have are of different sizes so i can say head one i'll just do Control shift d to recopy this and then i'll do two changes to two okay two two now I'll do that three, four, and five. There are six, 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 seven, four, five, three, two, five. So let's save and then refresh. Save Control S, or you can use the save tag here save all and then i refresh so this is this is how a heading tag looks like so he has heading one heading two heading two that's heading three heading four heading five and heading six so this is how headings look like and they always go to a new line so I can say heading one span that um, I can say um, this is a, this is a um, heading one tag. I save and I refresh and shows this is a heading one tag. Now I realize it goes to a new line. Because the heading one for me to enable this to be on this same line, I need to embed this. Yeah. And it appears in the same line. This is a heading one tag. So you can you can put elements into elements into elements into elements. So for example, I can say heading six, then I write an eight tag inside here. And I say um my a tag is in here and then i give a reference which is a link of the website i'll just put a slash and then let's see what happens so it says my my a tag is in here so practically that's it and the next thing we want to work on uh Uh, formatting HTML formatters. So we are formatting like the B word, um, the bold it means bold. So I can say search, and then search is going to become bold. Notice search is bold. Its font width just changed. All right now, remember I don't need to put um, text in in, in elements. In HTML, like you always print out, notice what happens here at the end, it still prints out anyhow. So even if I write, um, we use in and I save, 
and print out this is going to print out using but guess what that's not what you want to do you want to follow the particular format in the original data so if you feel like you just want your text to be somewhere anyhow on the page without putting a tag around it just put it in a span tag and it's going to be okay so let's work on formatting tag so let me see i have a paragraph that says um search and i want to emphasize on search so i can i can use the italic sign i and then at the end i close my eye and then it's going to be italicized you see and then i want to bold these two so i can say b and then at the end i put this and then it's bolded also have the strong tags so i'll just do a control shift d to recopy that then i'll give a space down here and i'll rename these to um strong i'll just copy this and put it here, p they do the same thing but the difference is in the font width we are with your eyes you really cannot see the difference but um behind the scene there's a little difference in the font width and I really don't see the difference in the real world. In the real world, I always use a B. I hardly use a strong tag. All right. Next thing we want to work on is list tags. So you have other lists and other, other lists. So you have a UL and you close it. And in that UL, you have a list. And then you close your tag. And in the list, you can have, you can say, my first list. Save and refresh. It shows you my first list. So let's do something. Let's start by giving a paragraph that says, um, My unordered list. And below my unordered list, I'll have first my first list, I have um, second list, second, my, my second, second my third list i can, give, I can use a break statement to give them spaces then see how this place all right and then we want to use another tag at this place um an order list so do this, I'll just copy this and then I'll paste it and I'll change this to order. Order this and I'll change this instead of U will be an O. O and O. Let's refresh. And let's see what happens. So this is an order list. And this is this is an unordered list. Sorry. Is an order list and is an order list. So these are basic HTML elements that we might be using every day and throughout the project. Um, I think that's all for this section, guys. Um, that's all for this section, and that's it. All right, bye, guys.